In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some custom callouts. Uh, so why would I want a custom callout when my authoring tool already lets me do it? So like, for example, in PowerPoint, if I go up to the uh, shapes, you can see I've got callouts here. So I can create a callout. What I don't like about the callout is the way these uh, tails work. So they just look kind of weird. They don't give me as much control as I'd like. So I want to go ahead and create my own callout so I have as much cr control as I need. So a couple of pointers here. So the first thing is the um, callout is actually made up of two shapes, right? So it's a body and it's a tail. So what we want to do is we want to create the body and tail. So let me delete this. Uh, the way we do that, we just go ahead and insert a shape. I'm going to grab a rectangle and we'll put it on here. I'm going to make it kind of big to fill up the slide. And the reason is once I'm all done, I'm going to right click and save this so I can reuse it. Then I'm going to create another shape. Now some people like to use different shapes for the tails. Uh, the rect or the triangle is actually pretty good because you can shape it any way you want to. Uh, you can move it. You know you can position it in the sides, position it up and down, um, change the angle on it. So it's really nice. Um, some people like to use the crescent. The crescent's cool because you've got the curve to it. So you can you can uh, change the curve by spreading it out. Um, compressing it taller shorter and you've got the uh, anchor point here where you can you can change the curve and then so you can create um, all sorts of um, different callouts that way I kind of like the lightning bolt and the reason is just because it's just got an angle to it that I kind of like so and then I can scale it and do whatever I want to with it so we're just going to use this so what I'm going to do is I've got my two shapes now what I need to do is I need to combine the shapes. In PowerPoint 2010, uh, what you can do is create your own ribbon, which I have here. I've got my ribbon tab called eLearning. And you'll notice I've got these shape features. These are in the um, PowerPoint feature set, but there's, they're not available on any one of the tabs. So I created my own tab and then added these to those. So I'm just going to highlight both of these. And then I'm going to use shape union and now I've got my call out and then at that point it's just a shape so I can format it you know make it look any way I want to uh, when I'm done with that I'm just going to right click and then I can save it as a picture and then I can use it anytime I want to build a course and I want to have a custom call out so uh, that's basically it on that end let me give you a few pointers and things that may speed up the production you can create like a master template file for all your call outs so let, let's go backwards here so what I know is if I duplicate this, I can I can have a this is one where maybe the callouts more in the middle. This is one where the tails more uh, at the end. I'm going to duplicate this one more time. Uh, this is one where the tail is um, more on that side. If I want to, you know, I can play around with it, um, flip the tail, do do whatever I want to do. Right, change the angle on it. Uh, that's where the triangle may come in handy. Uh, so I can create all sorts of derivatives of the callout. Uh, the other thing is, you know, I know that uh, sometimes the callouts are this way too, right? So you've got um, that on the side. And once you've created those, you can flip them, and so then you've got different options. So you'll be able to double the options. So go ahead and create a template where you've got an, an assortment of callouts, where you've you've got you know the tail on the left, right, middle. And then on the sides, you know, top, middle, bottom. And once you've got that done, you know, save that as a set. So what I would do is, as you can see here, I create a different set. So I've got a square set. I've got a rounded set. I've got a circle set. So what I do then is once I've got those sets built, I can go ahead and um, I've duplicated the, all those slides in that set. And then I'm just going to change the shapes here. So I'm going to go up here, go to Format, Edit Shapes, and then I'll choose uh, Rounded Rectangles. And so now everything I've got here, you know, changing all these shapes, I'll have rounded rectangles. I can go to this and change the shape and do the oval. So now I've got my oval shape. I have to probably play around with, um, with my call out a little bit. I can come up here and go and change it to this Thought Cloud. So then I can create... Uh, custom call out 
based on the thought cloud. I also can add those little circles and, and whatnot. And then once I've done all that, so I kind of create my first set, and then I duplicate those sets, and then I just change the shapes, and I might end up with 30 or 40 callouts. And I can just go ahead and go through this and do the um, shape unions, and now I've got my custom callout. And once they're in here, I can format those you know, any way I want to, so they can um, have shadows and, and whatever I want to do with that. So a lot of neat things you can do with that. One other tip is let's say you're working with um, uh, a character. So I've already designed my screen here. And what I want to do is put a callout in here. But if I have a pre-built callout like one of these, for example, so this let's say I built this and I want to paste this into my slide. Right. I, I don't have a lot of control now. Like, okay, I pre-built it, but you know, it doesn't work for what I want to do. So now I can build my own. So that's where this this tip really comes in handy. So I could say, okay, I've got my my call out box area. It's exactly what I need. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a tail uh, for that. And I can stretch that out a little. I'm gonna rotate it. So I've got a tail. So I see I can make it work exactly for the position I need. Select that. I'm going to um, go to eLearning, Shape Union. And so now I've got a call out that's positioned exactly uh, for my needs. And then I can add my text or whatever I want to in there. So a lot of neat things you can do with that. Um, and once you're all done, save them as images and then you can reuse them in other courses. Hope that makes sense.